Hey everybody, welcome to Weekly Changes of Week 9. So the first thing I want to do is show you my fingernails. I know it's gross, but I had somebody on YouTube want to see them, so there you go. Proof that uh, I'm not biting them. They look pretty good. <laughs> it drives me crazy to have nails, though. Uh, it is easier to open cans, though, so I guess that's good. Uh, also, I have finished the zone challenge, and it was pretty good. Uh, I didn't drop a lot of weight, but I got a lot of energy. I felt uh, that some pretty good changes. So I'll have the final results of that up soon, um, maybe next week. Uh, this week I'm going to take a break from the typical uh, self-help, uh, fitness, health-related things I normally do on this site and work on some spiritual things. So a couple years ago, um, some friends and I read a book by a... Uh, Catholic monk who lived in the 1600s named Brother Lawrence and basically that's a pretty famous book most of you probably heard of it um, well what was good about this book for me is the fact that this guy constantly was aware of God's presence during the day and that's something that I, I don't have most of the time so I'm, I'm you know there are times during the week during the day when I'm obviously aware of God's presence but most of the time I'm not so what I'm going to do this week um, is practice God's presence. I'm going to be try to be con um, more aware of God during the day. And I got some little hacks in place to do that, but first I wanted to read this. This is from First Thess uh, Thessalonians 5, 16 and 17. Um, basically says, Re Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So this pray without ceasing, um, it's pretty tough. <laughs> so, but I'm going to take a stab at it. I don't think I can pray all the time, but I'm going to do a better job at praying most of the time. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I got this uh, fancy watch. It's uh, to track my CrossFit exercises, and it has a little timer beep on it that goes off every hour. And so what I'm going to do is every time it beeps, I'm going to just kind of take a step back if possible um, and um, just retune my thoughts to the fact that, hey, I'm really not as important as I think I am. This really probably isn't as important as I think it is in the grand scheme of the world. So, and just kind of remind myself that you know God is here and watching and things. That's one of the things I'm going to do. I got some other things posted in the blog that you can check out. But uh, that, I'm going to do this for one week. I'm not going to make this a 30-day challenge. I'm going to see how it goes for a week, um, and because it's kind of intensive, and um, we'll see how it goes. That's what I got. See you.